We're going up soon. Are there many watchmen around? We were Let me make sure we didn't get any. Yeah, we didn't. We're lucky to get here. Okay, there's a nest in the building by the wrecked plane. Yeah, no wonder it's such a bad dream today. Oh, you want a nightmare? Well, it's waiting for you up there. No sense going with just three men. <laughs> Clear a nest. We need a couple squads at least. Know what now? You're not going? Gather them in first. We're waiting for the guys. On their way. It's my hunt. The new standards say I'm too separate with the sword. What happens when they find us here? What is it? Everyone's chasing us. Orange Kelly. Well, if you enlist, they acknowledge you as a person. But anyone deemed unnecessary is chased off or hung. So you're here. Is it all of you? Or more coming? We're all here. Two trains, as agreed. Our people from the first one, did they get permission to enter? Still waiting. They're giving our chief hell, but there's nothing he can do about it. So I hope it is happening. We've been in the wreck all our lives. And now we're freaks? Ugh, this happens all the time. But why? Why to us? They keep raising the standards. Last time it was our neighbors. This time, it's us. Would be long before Führer has the station to himself. But what do we do now? Live! And be glad we won't have our skulls measured every day. Oh, I'm, I'm fainting. Hard to breathe. Calm down. Take a breath. Everything is all right. Everything is fine. They escape from the right. So, that's our plan. The station next to this one is Revolution Square. One of ours. Red. And Revolution is spitting distance to police. So, I, as a good communist, which I am, will vouch for you. They'll have to let you through. And you'll be home in no time. What do you think? Are you the one they just told us about? Yes, we are. Great. Come in, then. So, my Spartan friend, have a look around. There's plenty to see here, huh? I'll talk to my people and find you. Welcome, and have a good rest. But you do understand that we mm. can't wait here forever. Oh, book. <laughs> Pavel needs to spend some time to set everything up. The citizens of other states should need a permit to enter the Red Line. The state in permanent preparation for war readily sees a spy in any outsider. I have some time to look around the theater. The station is a real legend of the metro, not unlike Polis. The difference being that while Polis gather most of the surviving scientists, the theater should consider to be the cold for the capital. Hmm. Bullets to the last surviving theatrical critic. Bullets for mercy on your souls. So, oh, young men, I see you like my witty sign. There's a place for everyone in this underground. Murderers, whores, tyrants, money changers, even peasants, for Christ's sake. All are welcome here. Even lousy actors. I live in a theater where we breathe the miasma of the decaying Bolshoi. This station is overpopulated with the ghosts of the opera. But is there a place here for the best critic of our once great country? Hell no. I tell the truth, and I am repaid with insults and poverty? I say you are a disgrace to the name of Bolshoi. And they reply, now Bolshoi is us and us alone. They're immune to criticism. They choose money over art. And these poor souls traveling from all over Metro to see the glorious Bolshoi? They are played for fools. They say that art only interests the well-fed. But my young friend, I will argue that even the hungry need art. For thinking on exalted matters dulls the pain of an empty stomach. But, mm. sadly, true art is 20 years gone. What remains is profane trash. And so my own hunger persists. Will you honor what we've lost by perhaps donating a bullet? <laughs> ah. So there are still men. Not just Mario Nets. Huh. I disgust myself. Here we sit with drinks and party lights, when all around us radiation, death, decay, and endless war. 
death and decay. That's exactly so what we need with you. Me, you know, a drink and a show warms your body and soul. Without that, give your sense ah, of we the may as well end it all. Feast in the time of plague. Hurry, there are so, so many when does our guest arrive? The masked one with the scythe. Any minute now, so drink up! Cheers! So what else? Where else can we talk to people? Wow! That is a really appetizing smell you have here, Simeonovna. Is it something new? No, as if mushrooms with mushroom sauce. Hey, keep your hands out of the pot, or you're getting smacked in the head. Join us. Opera. It's a funeral feast for civilization. Be one of the lucky few <laughs> to witness tonight's extravaganza. One of the measures had a thing for me. So Don't and lose your chance. Sure. Give yourself a chance. Sure. He told me all about the gifts of Why? What happened? Vitya didn't make it. How? But really, you were heading back. A demon appeared. We all hit the ground and shot at the demon until it fled. No one suffered the scratch, but Vidya didn't get up. His mask, it had cracked open on a brick. And you, you left him there to die! No, Katya, we tried to save him, but it was too late. No, Vidya! We buried him there, a good place. We put white stones on the grave. Let her be. Just like the a real demon. thing. A demon! Look at it flapping its wings! It's attacking! No, Dad says it flaps its wings like this when taking off. And my dad saw lots of demons. We're right, Uncle Misha. This is a demon? Well, it's... All right, let it be a demon. But there used to be birds like this. Birds? Are they mean like demons? No. They were beautiful. Some were big but smaller than demons. Birds didn't attack people. They will wake you in the morning with their songs. Now, what animal is this one? Could it be a Nosalis? The nose is too big, though. Surge, did your dad tell you about beasts like that? No, and he was everywhere. Even the library, even the park. He saw a bear once. <gasps> is this a bear, Uncle Misha? It's an elephant. You saw them in the Were elephants scary? Could dinosaurs be what's left of them? The elephants, oh, they were large. But they never attacked first. Only when they were provoked. But if they got mad, they could stomp you. That's just like a Nosalis. Dad says if a big Nosalis starts running, she stomps everything in their path. She'll even stomp her own kids. Well, they could be. Nosaluses are not they had elephants too small. Though they definitely are smaller now, if they are the Nosaluses. And what kind of bird is this? That's the swan! Look at its long neck! I know that bird. It was in a book, and Mama has a picture of it with those numbers in the corner. She has it hanging on the wall. At least, now, that is a swan! And why are you boys keeping silent? You saw the book and saw the calendar at Aunt Thomas? I thought it was some kind of mutant. Me too. It does look like the picture in the book, but this one was moving. Look, boys. Try imagining that there's still... Well... All right. Who is this? This is definitely a spider bug. Look at its mandibles. Or oh, isn't no, its legs? No, no. It's goat. a goat. Just like on that picture. Are those it's horns poison? It's okay, a goat. Okay, that's cool, man. Does you can make a goat out of your hand. Okay, don't make an AK-47. Shift the I will be in a palace with my They aren't afraid of light. You know, Katya, that really is a goat. But it's not scary at all. And it won't butt you for no reason. Anyway, it's a really useful animal. The milk is so tasty. <laughs> Was.
Uncle Misha, Katya is the only one who knows these strange animals. Show us something we know too, or it's not fair! Yeah! Show something we know! Alright. You recognize this one. Who's first? Me! Me! It's a lurker! Look at it snap its jaws! It's yeah, gonna jump out of its hole! That's a lurker for sure! Sorry, children. I used to know how to show those animals, but I got old. Let me take a rest, and I'll try again later. I'll try oh, to he said that was a dog. So that you'll understand. Oh, poor Misha. Kids My here. papa is a stalker. He'll get me one of those dolls. I was a stalker. My dad is a pilot. He'll get me a hundred. Well, mine said he'd get it tomorrow. Mom says when he comes back, if I behave. But he's not coming back until later. Oh, so it's not going to be soon? Let's go to Natasha's then and play with her doll for now. Let's go! You guys are what listening? should I have said? They I don't know. Say. Truth? Who can live with truth like that? His commander said there was nothing left to bury. He begged forgiveness for letting him die. Sorry. What are you going to do now? I don't okay, know. Huh? How can I go on like this? Someone's covering up a murder. Don't worry, the catch is changed. You can't even on it. Hello, Mr. Juggler. Right, you know, this is that up where you want to keep it early. I can juggle too, but with my air cape, go quick, 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 and then you shoot the Nassaurus. The sounds are like the Nassaurus is moving. These are books 33, 34, 35. So I'm guessing this game takes place during 34. That's the middle one, and it's the second one, and I also heard something. Well, Exodus is coming out in a couple months. Have you got enough money to last a week? A week? Two days, maybe. Then my life is over. And it took so long to say bye. Oh well. Good riddance. At least I had some fun day. What? You give up already? Yeah, best stopping power of them all. Simply the paint. Look, I got money for three days. So drinks are on me. Good luck. Come again. Ha! Ah, stock knives! Man, sell a regular, sell us some more. So, where? Heavy from the surface? Roast bacon. We'll be able to join you in a couple of days. We won't shoot much. Okay. You could stick a reflex. Now, I'm gonna stick the reflex on it. We had that in the last paper. Well, that was a silence. Yeah, we'll keep the sound. That's pretty dope. I actually didn't. No, we are not upgrading that gun. Shotgun silencer or extended barrels. I really want this. They want some call it back. Four. Incendiary grenades, guaranteed to keep your enemy warm. I'll buy the extended barrels. Well, feel free to drop by. No, actually, can you replace this? So, Ash. A great pistol against mutants. Powerful and reliable. Well, it's cheaper than the Apple. It's, it's got to be worse than I guess. I'm not gonna risk. Oh. Leather, best leather goods. Original hey, design. I need to shoot. I will send the guitar. Shrooms, great shrooms. Can't this is great stuff. Book. The best you find. All right. No wonder the famous Bolshoi's theater is right above the station. That station. There are rumors that there are underground passages from its basements into the metro. That's the reason why many of its actors and other staff were able to save themselves on Judgment Day. We founded a new Bushoi down here at the station. The theater's 
rumors of which reach even the farthest corners of the metro. And since the habitable world ends where the metro line ends, you should say that the new Bashoi is also known around the world. Some say it actually preserves the tradition of its great predecessor. They say that the earth continues to spin while the Bashoi still puts on to the shows. Oh, I wish to see one of those. Perhaps I finally got my chance? Yeah, man! I don't know. It's well, prohibited. Maybe I'll just get the we can go to the revolution there. now. They will let us in through the field. This is a theater. Anything goes. But hey, I won't twist your arm. I want to go just don't here. come back in ten minutes. When you change your mind, it all begun. Wait a minute. I got to think. Think faster. Look, there's another twist. If you don't mind us, this should just... Oh, sure. Come in. Well, Stanislavski, you can watch the show if you like. I'll wait for you at the dressing room. Maestro, if you'd be so kind. The camera. before I feel sorry for the other performance now their attempts at impressing the audience might fall short after such a spectacle but <laughs> I trust they will handle the race part of our expectations and thus our incredible show oh, continues this man spits in the eye of danger challenges nature no, defies the, the god of his new sorry, world man. and through once on. again you that humanity the is a master of all oh. a warm welcome for Leonid Burley our animal trainer oh. extraordinaire oh, with his arms so glad to see city. you where have you been you don't like us anymore Hello, no, sto, I'm, I'm totally in love with you girls, but I've been busy with work. I'm, I'm very, very sorry. I'll come back soon. I promise. Yeah, please, see what you do. Jana, let me use your power. In your dreams, you have your own. Use that. Ali, go! It's no good. Why can't your boyfriend buy you something better? Her boyfriend is cheap, that's why. Go! Here comes the No, he's reliable and doesn't waste his money. In that case, you should just marry him. What do you propose? He's too cheap for that, too. Fool. We're just testing our love. Yeah, yeah. And in the meantime, he made you some powder by scratching the seal. At least I have a man of my own, instead of selling myself at the bar. You do too, if anyone would buy. Girls, enough quarreling. The sprout belt is going to go off soon. Sounds like something dope. So what? I'm not going on stage with her. You better. You've nowhere else to go since the freak show left the station. You bitch. Knock it off. No fighting here or on stage. Okay, let's let it go. No, it's not okay. What? Should I go with Rovna? No, please don't. Then finish your makeup. It's our call soon. No, I got a more to the traditional this. recipe, the new mutants were a gun like a new mutant watch this. <laughs> Let us cheer for the heroes at exhibition! And tonight's show goes on! It is time to bring a lyrical mood to our show. We give you the genius of chamber music. The famous accordion player, Kolya Pajarny, with his masterpiece, My Heart Reaches for the Sky, but hits the ceiling and falls down the bottle. A round of applause, please! Wait, 
Is he blind? No, I think he's first. Give the break. I fight Nazis and monsters. Your music is such a screams with so much power. And thus, our incredible show continues. Today, I have the honor of presenting to you the hottest, the most explosive act this side of Atlantic Ocean, the most scorching spectacle of today. Our fire show! A round of applause to welcome the performers. Please, please. Please, 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 I think that won't happen actually. <laughs> this is so weird. Piano guys just like half going ham on that piano. Like boom, 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 boom. And Mr. Piano. You are set me. Just all your firebenders have. Set one of yourselves on fire. That would be dope. That was not cool. Completely mind-blowing. Incredible. Simply incredible. If a tiny bit too hot, just a couple of degrees higher, and I'd be charred. <laughs> Thank you, dear friends. Thank you. But I must say that however hot that was, the girls were a bit hotter still. <laughs> Guys, you've got to answer the challenge. Try using the flamethrower, perhaps. <laughs> And yet, we have more, dear audience. Please welcome the Arpeggio Virtuoso, the God of Legato, and Demon of Tremolo. The favorite student of Mel Bay and Vladimir Manilov, the premier guitarist of the New Age, Victor Minchuk with his fantasies. Victor. Please welcome our Virtuoso. <laughs> ecstasy and my heart would ignite, my legs would start dancing, and my soul would go straight to wherever it's heading to. Thank you, Victor. Ladies and gentlemen, I must announce a change in today's program. To our sincere regret, our visiting magician ran out of ladies for his sawmill act. <laughs> but never fear. We have filled the gap with greatness. Your complete attention, please, as I present the birth of a legend. The Minchuk and Pajarni duet with their instrumental impromptu, the Song of Songs. A round of applause to cheer our great musicians on. <laughs> 
Musical innovation of the century. Incredible. Completely incredible. My left ear is still ringing. <laughs> You've just heard the virtuosos of the Moscow Underground. The duo known as Minchuk and Pozarny. Our dear audience. This sad moment always come, no matter how often we wish you would not. But our show for today is over. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have enjoyed your company. Thank you, and dope. please come again. Maestro, give us something emotional. Goodbye. Farewell. Parting is such sweet song. That was dope. I got a morale point for it, too. Oh, and an achievement. Very good. Good achievement. For sure. Yeah, it's not gonna hit me. Uh. Refuges again. Oh wait, shit. More refuges. All right. What's Your conversation. Wrong? What else? Another war. Looks like the fucking colonies are going to fight the life again. Shit. Is war all we know? Instead of wasting ammo on each other. They could be wiping out the vermin. They don't give a shit about that. And they probably said, this is my father. Who cares? No one. Music so louder than that. Or is there a choice? Shh, music, shh. If the monsters don't kill them, other men will. This is what I'm saying. Why go on day after day? Why can't it just end? I got a point. Anyways. I tell you, we should be going, but uh, let's drink to the fact we are still alive, huh? Tell no, me, okay? Here you are, two of our specials from the old stock, been infusing it for half a year. Opa, that's great! So, let's drink, Artyom! Yeah, my man. He made forever, boss. Ah, Smooth stuff, huh? And this is a good place, but... Uh, Home is the best, you know? You know, I've traveled all over the metro and people talk all kinds of shit about the red line. That it's awful there, there's no food, that we shoot comrades for nothing, and you can't even tell a joke without getting arrested. Wait, let's have another drink. Here goes, Artyom! Yeah, man. Here it is. The ultimate squad, man. Wow. So, <clears throat> yes? Our life is a bit strict. One party, one leader, one ideology, but we have order. And everything is shared. Food, medicine, fuel, shelter. No rich men, true. But no beggars either. Another drink. Yeah, and man. now, to equality. Come on, Artyom. Yeah, man. No, 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 no. Pay that now. Let's play free drinks. Ooh, yeah. Good. Good. Ah, where was I? Ah, yes. Yes, look, look at the far stations. They freaking eat each other, sell their kids as slaves. It's like the Stone Age. Death to his own devices, a man becomes a beast. You know, order, order is all that matters. That's, that's our salvation. So you can believe whatever, but I am red. I am red until the day I die. I drink to order, Blin. Yeah, I drink to order. Come on, Artyom, come on! Bottoms up! Yes, part Bottoms of, uh, up! Uh, so, my friend, that's how it goes. Don't be mad, Artyom. Just doing my job to protect the red line. And you, Musketeer, are from the wrong side of the barricade. No, man. No, we're supposed Private, to be friends. Private, take this comrade in. Yes, Major. Sir. Yes, sir. Major? My friend.
What? You betrayed me. You betrayed me, Pavlo. That was so stupid of me. I bought that talk of friendship. The stupid musketeer saying, Just you wait. And we'll get even. I wonder though, why did Pavel go through the trouble of trapping me? Uh, Pavel, you were kind of mean, man. We were friends. Your best buds. Hey, stop that, blech. It's just being over enthusiastic, you know? Artyom, look, I think of you as my friend, really. But as a soldier, you understand that I had to follow my orders and bring you here, okay? Now you're under arrest, but perhaps it's not the end of the line for you. I hope. No, I'm not. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. At ease, Tavarish. So, you're doing good here? Are you not? Yes, sir. Comrade Moskvin is here, inspecting the troops. The Secretary General? Yep. What about Comrade Korb? Yes, sir. Comrade General is here, too. Opa, it's my lucky day, huh? Okay, things are moving faster than we anticipated. Look, Artyom, you're a smart guy, so we understand there is no such thing as coincidence. You are here because we need you to have information. So, my advice to you, my friend? Cooperate. No. Okay? Yeah. But don't worry, I got your back. Because we are what? Musketeers! All for one, and one for all. But your comrades in the order, their motto is all for us. War is coming, my friend. That bunker you guys found, whoever controls it survives and fuck the rest of us. But we have been preparing for this. And I want you to join us. That's all. No. No. We, if we had worked together, we could have brought order between the two orders in time to time. You're an idiot. Good day, Comrade General. Comrade Morozov, I was beginning to think you had not survived your mission. I was captured, Comrade Corbett. This ranger here, uh, saved me. What a coincidence. He's Nitsky. You're one of the Spartan Rangers. Do you know this man? Yes, sir. His name is Artyom. Miller trusts him. They found the six together. He's also earned several commendations since officially enlisting with the Order. Well, I am overjoyed to meet you, Comrade Artyom. I think we both have something to offer. Take the... Comrade to the negotiation room. Screw you. Young man, let's dispense with the people of the probing and cutting the chase. This telepathic mutant, the so-called Dark One, is of extreme scientific significance. Tell me all you know about it, and I will allow you to keep your life and your job with the Rangers. But, as my spy, an operative, just like those uh, musketeers, one for all, and all for... Secretary General Comrade Moskvin. Korbut, I need a moment. And what do we have here? Another enemy of the revolution? <laughs> Perfect. As you have always noted, Lunium must start learning how to improve his uh, people skills. As a matter of fact, we were... Yeah, put away your truth serums. I'll show you a more traditional Red Army method. Faster and more effective. You shit! Spill your guts now! Tell everything you know of these six! Huh? in his face, aren't you? Oh. Fuck! Still nothing, huh? <laughs> hey, bitch! You talk, or I'll fry your balls in pig fat! Passwords, code names, operation protocols! What are you doing, Dad? This is called interrogation, Lonia. Interrogation! Business as usual. What? You never did that playing dolls? No! You little shit! There's no power without blood! There is! Your brother ruled peacefully, and they still love him! Get back here! You're a God damn it! Alright. Use your drugs. 
Use hot pokers. Just get everything out of him and shoot the bastard. And then come to my office. We must talk. I must get out of here. Come back here. You may be my oh, I must agree with Leonid. Brutality is a crooked path to information. I believe in science. One injection and you will tell us everything. Nothing. I wish to see you. My name is Artyom. Oh, it's a little baby Artyom. Baby Artyom, no! I need you to go to Venice and take care of the locals who made the delivery. This will not be a cash payment. Understand? Completely, sir. And uh, what about the dark one? The creature has been located. The details are in this envelope. You will pick up the animal right after you go to Venice. Don't disappoint me this time. I won't. I, uh, I won't. Mom, wake up, boss. Fuck Corbett. Fuck my father. And Morozov. And the revolution and my own future. I'd rather be shot and end up like father. Killing his own brother. Listen. If you get out of here, just, well, just live. Here. Get in there. This is the way to freedom. Believe me. I know. Well, good luck to you. I'm gonna hear him to speak the red line. I need to get my gear back again. Why is this always happening? Python, sit down, Corbett. Let's talk. About the negotiations in Polis? Ah, so you already know. I am the head of intelligence after all. Then why did you let the information leak? Damned refugees. Polis, Hansa, and even the fucking Nazis already know about our plans. The rats will be exterminated. And war is inevitable anyway. Inevitable? I have my doubts. So does the Politburo. A doubtful man is a fearful man. How dare you! You're the head of state security and you report to me! Yes, but now, when we are one step away from a unified Red Metro, you have no right to disrupt the plan. I have no right? I'm... Moscovin, when you asked me how to deal with your elder brother when he was still the Secretary General, I helped you. And after his tragic death, I bucked your takeover. So I suggest you take my advice again. This is unacceptable. It's very simple, Comrade Moskvin. We all stand together, arms linked against the wind. Or it's every man for himself. But, mm. Gorbut, is this whole fucking metro truly worth the blood we're going to spill? I have a way of doing it without spilling any blood. No blood, you say? All right. Go do your trick. I'll handle the police bureau. Cuz hmm. one of these days. A frontal assault is hopeless. But if we go underground at the church, advance through the catacombs, then attack from the rear, we should encounter little or no resistance. Then we just have to do a sweep. Attention! Comrade General! 
Soldiers, you are trusted with an important mission. Each group has its task, and you have been told only what you need to know to succeed. But remember that this operation is top You're secret, attack and you must not be taken alive by the enemy. I hope that I am understood. Questions? Can we use radios after we capture the assigned targets? Only... Now I am in a real spider-infested catacombs, where the General Secretary Moskvin does not look like the head spider. That title clearly belongs to General Corbett. I sure would like to know what's on his mind. What did Lesniski bring him from D6? What's going to destroy the enemies of the revolution? Only questions and no answers. The only thing that is clear. Let's go, boss. Quit shaking. Emmanuel says yeah. it's the red wire. So that's the one you cut. You cut it yourself. I'll go stand there around the corner. Piss your pants already? <laughs> you want a real man. Well, if you're a real man, why are your hands shaking? Hands don't mean shit. The important thing is nothing else shakes. Then he's completely certain now. The Red Line is preparing for war. Without making pompous statements or fanning hysteria like the White like usually does, they're steadily assembling the strongest army in the Metro ever. And the very silence accompanying their war preparation seems more sinister to me than all the Fuhrer's speeches. speeches. Special department handle them. I'm talking real rats, tails and all. They multiply like crazy. So you go and do it on the double. Yes, sir. Oh, the 
Now you're gonna get some. The quartermaster won't give you anything. your weapon tonight. You're both going to the hall.
Oh. Oh, I just realized I don't have the AK yet. I'm gonna give him that. Thank you. Anyone else have any guns? Thank you. I don't know if I was supposed to kill them, but... They're dead now. Just 
scope is that? No! Okay, where's your gun? Come back. Thank you. It lost a lot of ammo from it, but oh. Well. Oh, you, need, you actually need it right now. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> like, why would we need it? Okay, note two. Looks like the Red Line General Secretary Mostrovin does not do much decision making. It seems that he himself is Kubert's, ho Kubert's hostage. One eyed general holds him in a dreadlock with one hand while using the other to move the pieces on his huge chessboard, a whole metro. Why is the secretary supposedly capable of laying the general off or even having a magic to tolerate his insolence and yield to his demands? What gives Kubert's strength? Knowledge, perhaps? I just have to catch up with Pavel and, t and he'll tell me everything. We'll see how he is going to continue singing his songs of equality and brother of creating a just sweet s state for everyone, that traitor. Yeah, I agree. It's freaking Brad. We saved him and he saved us. But we saved him more times. I'm actually supposed to use these crates. Uh, Mr. Thing? Well, alright, you say good. That's not the way. This way. And then turn right. Or not. We'll go up here. You want me to go? Oh, yes. Gotcha. Gotcha. No. Let's go around this. Thought I had to shoot it. What? There you saw me? That quickly? Uh, no, we we'll wait, 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 wait. Alright, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try this again, but this time we are not gonna be stupid. I really need to get myself an actual rifle though. Well. Did you accept the delivery and sign the manifest? I sure did. Where did you put the goods? Wherever I had space left, top shelves mostly. Can you be more specific? Specific? Wherever I left the ladder, there's our goods. My shift's nearly over. Best to the other guy when he arrives. All right, all right. I'll go and check if everything's still there. I 
Nope. Nope. <laughs> he has none of the Phanager equipment. That's what I Did want. Did you accept the delivery inside? I sure did. Where did you put the goods? Wherever I had space left. Top shelves mostly. Can you be more specific? Specific? Wherever I left the ladder. There's our goods. My ship's nearly over. Best of the other guy when he arrives. All right, all right. I'll go and check if everything's still there. This is a quality piece. Most of it knows how to hit it where it hurts. It might seem strange, but they are right. If we don't reach an agreement, don't stop fighting, we'll finish ourselves off much sooner than any mutant would. Communists just right not to use the bunker located by the order as bait. Common folks swallow it hook, line, and sinker, and that's all. War. Prosperity has to be bought with the price of blood. For humanity to have a bright future, one more generation has to discard its present. Oh ho ho ho. No. Thank you. Who's there? Why is the alarm going off? Go. Uh, why are you dead? You fools are just killing me. Ah! 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 
That's how you kill a bunch of Nazis. There? Yeah, it's a creepy place. The station's nearby. There's the machine gun, searchlight, your comrades are around. There's something rustles in the cobwebs, and the sound just freezes blood. Why not burn those webs? We do that all the time. In a couple of weeks, the damn beast have everything covered with that shit again. Damn, they sure are a lot of trouble. Maybe we should just weld the gate shut and be done with it. Then what if we have to get to Benny's fast? How will we go there? Take a train to Hansa territory? I get it. The only way is to keep that damn watch there. What a... Seems like... someone... That was no fucking spider. What then? How should I know? Look like a human with a large bag at that. But when I lit the place up, there was nothing. Don't worry about it. Weird shit starts happening after a six hour watch. Maybe. But somebody is stealing the parts of food. Why the hell? Probably one of ours. Who goes there? Waiting till our backs are turned. That's Dead. The Alarm! Enemies here! Alarm! Attention! That wasn't that hard. Re entering a spider zone again. that way. Ooh. Oh, that's terrible. Well, um, even the communists don't deserve that. She's gone, man. Stay down, or your brain goes splat. Wait a minute. Artyom, is it you? Who did you see me? Who are you? I was able to send a report back to the Order via my old acquaintance, Andrew the Blacksmith. At least Miller will know that I am alive. 
that I haven't completed the mission, but haven't resigned from it either. Alright, we're gonna take a little break here. We'll be back in a little bit.